Hello guys and this is the Russian Genius and welcome to this video and in this video I will be talking about how you can break in a deck of cards. So here I have a red deck of Phoenix, there's gonna be a link in the description if you're interested in buying this deck. But here is how I like to break in my deck and this works with any deck that you have. I'm trying my very best to say deck and not dick. Alright, and now it is open. So here it is, there is of course the box which we don't need and as you can see it is really slippery right now. Uh, these cards we of course do not need. Here we have the two jokers. And now the deck is really slippery. As you can see. When breaking in a deck of cards then you're able to break in the deck in a way that it fits your hands and your fingers. So it's going to be a little bit difficult to explain but hopefully you will understand what I mean by the end of this video. So as I said right now the cards they are extremely slippery as you can see they just fall down right now they are way too slippery I can you know even hold it and the deck you know falls down into the other hand so when breaking in the deck you are trying to keep the quality of the cards but get rid of the uh, slipperness so it's not as uh, slippery but still the deck needs to be smooth some magicians and this video might be long but at least i'm giving tips and facts some magicians uh, they uh, take their jeans and right now I have no jeans, I actually have shorts which you can't see, but they take their jeans and uh, this is a tip from Dan and Dave on the Triology DVD, they take their jeans and then they rub the cards across the jeans on every edge, just like this. And when you do it, then the edges, they become more smooth and for some people, or for most people, it's easier to handle the deck when the edges are smooth and not sharp, like right now. Like right now, the edges are so sharp that I can easily place it right here and then get a paper cut. And you know, it's disgusting. Most people, they like the edges to be smooth. I like the edges to be as sharp as they can be and the reasoning behind it is because when the edges are not smooth then you are easily able to do for instance the anaconda with your deck and it's easier to pink account cards from the top to the bottom so that is the reason for why I do not make the edges and the sides of the deck soft. So here's how you break in the deck. And here's how I usually break in the deck. First, I am going to give the deck a lot of riffle shuffles. And the reasoning behind it is because I like when the deck is soft. Now this is the way that I like to handle cards. I like when the cards, they are as soft as possible, but the edges, they are not soft, and the cards, they should spread without being too slippery. So that is my personal taste in how a deck of cards should be broken in. So that is what I am going to do. I want the cards to be bendy and also I want the edges to be as sharp as they can be. I want to be able to take the deck and be able to feel one card at a time with my fingers. That's how sharp I want the edges to be. I want to be able to feel 
every single card when I do what kind of move I want. Just give the deck a couple of rifle shuffles so it's easier to bend the cards in the end and also uh, try to give the deck a couple of pharaoh shuffles or even you know small springs so the cards they get bended a little bit more I want to get the stiffness out of the deck I know a lot of people they like a stiff deck but I like a deck of cards that is really springy and soft so I will give it many more shuffles, I will even do the anti-pharaoh with this deck and of course it's not gonna work the anti-pharaoh, I mean it does work but it's, it's never gonna be perfect, I have never created, I've never done a perfect anti-pharaoh, I'm going off topic and as you can see when I riffle shuffle I bend the cards even more than you normally should and I do it uh, you know uh, from the back and also from the face so I do it a little bit from the face and a little bit from the back so the cards they are more bendy if you don't want the cards to be uh, easier to bend then just do not riffle shuffle with this giant uh, bend so do not riffle shuffle like this, but riffle shuffle just a little bit where you bend the deck instead, if this makes sense, which I hope that it does. And now the deck feels better, it's easier to spring the cards, uh, the deck still needs to be bended a little bit more and a little bit used, and also, as you may see, the cards are not as slippery as they were before, they are still a little bit too slippery in my form of taste, and this sounds really cringy, and this is the first time I'm even using the word cringy, but yeah, I'm still able to do some of the stuff that I like to with this deck of cards. And also, I have a gig, I have a show where I'm going to be performing tomorrow. Make sure to follow my Snapchat, it's going to be right here. Because I do post a lot of awesome stuff and I do also post uh, sometimes if I'm going to perform uh, in some places. If you know how to do the Pharaoh Shuffle without ruining the corners, then I would recommend using the Pharaoh Shuffle to break up the cards. So uh, basically a Pharaoh Shuffle looks like this. You take the two packets and then slowly you Pharaoh it together. And as you can see the cards, they got separated one by one and now I'm just going to do the bridge and then I'm able to do it few more times if I want to and the deck will be broken in a little bit more. So yes, that is what I wanted to show you guys and now the deck is actually broken in and now I am almost ready to do some magic tomorrow I still have to do some, I still have to make some gimmicks from these cards for tomorrow and the last thing that I like to do is I like to make the cards more bendy not only this way but also on the short side so then I would do some lipole spreads I would uh, do this and then catch the cards and just like that a couple of times just like this I do have a tutorial on this move I try to bend the deck in any way possible to make it a little bit more soft so yes yeah, so that is basically what I wanted to show you now I'm ready to ask the spectator to pick a card place it in the center ask them some questions and then I uh, show them that their card is not on top and I'm able to do the double lift without uh, problems right now uh, so you know step snap snap the fingers god damn it and then the double comes right there so before I perform I always like to do 
uh, at least uh, 20 double lifts before uh, doing the actual show because I do do a lot of double lifts in my performances because the double lift is one of the best moves in magic and just like that it jumps all the way to the top let's do it I'm not looking at my hands I'm looking at the camera that's why I sometimes fail as you can see that is the double not on top just like that thank you guys really much for watching i hope that you enjoy this also make sure to check out my vlogging channel it's called vladimir jenko uh, it's not only vlogging channel there's going to be a lot of great stuff like challenges and some stuff with magic and playing cards is going to be really entertaining in the future and i hope that you will enjoy that channel as well so thank you for watching make sure to like and comment and subscribe and since now the deck is bended in and i'm kind of able to control whatever i'm doing with the deck and usually once i'm able to make a okay pharaoh shuffle then i know the deck is is broken in once i'm able to do this okay from both sides like right now as you can see this is actually quite okay as you can see right there and then i'm able to do it once again from the other side and this is how i check sometimes if the cards are bended in correctly and now I can see that I'm able to control the cards from the thumb and everything is nice and awesome. And by the way, this deck is especially made for magic performing. You can check it out on therussiandinos.com and I'm going to be moving to Lithuania in uh, next month actually. So check out my uh, second channel, Vladimir Zienko, and hopefully you will enjoy it. Thank you for watching, make sure to like and comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.